Well, cool. So what I want to do is show you how to graph this linear system, this linear uh, system of equations. So what I have here is y equals negative 3x plus 2 and also y equals 2x minus 3. Now sometimes when I'm graphing a linear system, I like to separate my two equations. And therefore, maybe it can kind of trigger my brain to be like, all right, that, you know, how, how do I graph again and then put them on the same map or at least the same coordinate axis? So what we're going to do is, if you, you know, if you see a linear equation, you're kind of break yourself up and be like, uh, how do I, you know, what am I doing again? The best thing I can say when graphing is to graph each one of them separately. And then when we're solving, when we graph a linear system of a linear system of equations, we're just going to put both the graphs on the same coordinate axis. So let's just to pretend we're going back to our previous chapter, and we need to graph y equals negative or y equals two x minus three. Well, in this case, remember all linear equations, not oh yeah, all linear equations can be written in the form of y equals mx plus b. And for this example, that's how I'm going to want to graph each of these equations. So remember, m is going to represent our slope. So I can say my slope is equals two, and my y-intercept, which is a coordinate point, is going to be what my b is, which is negative three. And remember, the y-intercept we write as a coordinate of 0 comma b, which would be 0 comma negative 3. So over here, I can say my slope is equal to negative 3, and my y-intercept is going to be 0 comma 2. All right? So if I wanted to graph something, um, the first thing we do is we plot the y-intercept, which in this case is at negative 3. So I go down 3, 1, 2, 3. And we make a nice little dot at the y-intercept. Now the slope, remember, the slope tells me how to transfer from one point to the next on our linear equation. So the best thing to do is to rewrite it as a fraction. And if you have it as a whole number, you can put it over 1, and it's going to be the exact same value. So this would be 2 over 1. And what that tells us is to rise 2, run 1, or go up 2, up or down 2, and then to the left or right, 1. Well, since the 2 is positive, I'm going to go up 2 units. And since the 1 is also positive, I'm going to go to the right 1. And I can continue this pattern indefinitely creating my line. So that's my one linear equation. And then over here, I need to do the exact same thing. And again, I'm just graphing these separately. And I'll kind of show you um, how this is going to help me with my systems of equations. So here I have my y-intercept at 2, 1, 2. Now my slope here is negative 3 over 1. So I go down 3, 1, 2, 3 over 1. OK? So ladies and gentlemen, what you can see is I have two equations, right? I graphed each one of these separately. However, when we want to graph a system of equations, we want to graph both equations on the same coordinate axis. So you don't have to graph them separately, but a lot of times I see students getting, you know, struggling with you know, what they're supposed to do. And, and if you need to, just break them up and graph them separately. Then say, all right, now I can put them on the same, act, um, same graph. And when putting them on the same graph, I have 3, negative 3, up 2 over 1. And then here, I have up 2, down 3 over 1. And you can see that now they cross at my coordinate point 1, comma, negative 1. That means the solution to this linear equation is their intersection point at 1, comma, negative 1. Since they intersect, we know that my solution is consistent, and since they intersect at one point, it is independent. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve your linear system of equations. Thanks.